Hey, Jackson Lumen Christie, it's graduation day. For the next few minutes, I'm going to try to give you a few things that will help you move forward in life. It's been a crazy time in our world. We've all been through a lot. Whether it's been us missing the end of our season and the end of our school year, or you missing the end of your season and everything else that goes with being a senior, like the prom, like the open houses, and now graduation day. You're a unique class. None that I know of in the years that I've been on this earth have ever gone through a graduation day without actually walking across. You're unique in that respect, and yet you can make it a positive. I'm talking about a few things that I think will help you get through not only this time, but the time in the near future. The first one is to be able to self-evaluate. You know, during this pandemic, we've had to push the pause button. We're quarantined. We're in houses. We're not allowed out much. It's a great time to self-evaluate. You can look at the glass half full or half empty, or you can really look at yourself and say, this is a period of time when I'm off the treadmill and I can get better. Self-evaluating means you look at the past, you look at the present, and hopefully you look to the future. If you don't like what you see, you can change it. It's a perfect time. It'll take a little self-motivating. And self-motivating is a real big key in successful people. No longer are you going to have your parents maybe to get you up in the morning or push you in school. Now it comes down to you, yourself. Self-motivation is what helps you become a great college student it would help you in the years to come to be great at your job. Learn how to be on your own and how to be in the real world. You're going to have to, many times in your life, adapt and overcome some adversity. Adapting and overcoming is going to be a key as you move forward. So use this time to learn how to do it. It's been a tough time, but it's also been a time when people can take advantage of the opportunity. I worry a little bit about your generation for the reason of entitlement. Everybody seems to be entitled. The social media, Twitter, it makes it all about I rather than we. You know, you're always going to be part of the we. You're going to be part of a team. It might not be an athletic team. It might be your classmates. It might be your roommates when you get to college. Someday it could be your wife or your husband. It could be your kids. And eventually it could be your job. You're going to be on a team and you're going to need a lot of people to help you be successful. Around here, Magic Johnson often talks that great players play great, but elite players make other players great. So that is used in the same way other than just being an athlete. We have to look at, can I impact the people around me and help make them better? That is the greatest gift God gave us. So I'm going to be pulling for you, class of 2020. I think the coronavirus has KO'd us for these past eight or nine weeks. But it's not going to hold us down in the years ahead. This is where your beliefs, where your faith is going to not only help get you through it, but is going to pull you through it in flying colors. That pause button you hit, that way you look back and self-evaluate it, the way you adapt it, and now the way you move forward is going to be very key to an incredibly successful life. I'm honored to be able to spend a few minutes with you. And I am honored to say that the next 70 years, you, all of you, class of 2020, are going to have an impact on my life. I'll be pulling for you. Congratulations and God bless. Real good or pretty good? Real good.